Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of Fable 2. Alright, when we left off, we had, uh, just gotten in to this little cave here, trying to find the ice key, or rather the ice totem, or was it sun totem? Found the ice key, then we're getting the sun totem. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I got it messed up in my head for Not Whole Island, because they are a winter wonderland, and they don't want to be that anymore, so... We're gonna keep on moving, and oh my god, we're in the depths of hell. What the fuck? Holy shit. This is... This is pretty much hell. It's like lava and fire and... Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's not fair. It's fucking jumping in on me like that. That's not fair at all. Whoop. Okay. Come on, damn it. I want you connect the attack. Sheesh. Okay. This is not good. Okay. Also, I need to turn my headset down. I need to take a moment to be able to do that. Whoop. Okay. And let's do time. There we go. And let's do a full charge lightning. And there. That works. Perfect. Whoop. Okay. Come on. Damn it. Let me kill you. There we go. Oh, geez. Spawn again. Stop them. Oh, geez. It's not good. Okay. There we are. Okay, there's still more of them. Okay. This is going to be something. There we go. And there we go. And, well, that killed him. Expecting someone to get closer. I hope that lunge would be farther than it was. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Get your lumps. Damn it. Come on. Oh, nice try. You bitch. You can't really kill me, can you? There we go. Woo! Now we got speed. Fuck yeah. I'm trying to absorb all the orbs, because I'm pretty sure some of them probably disappeared and uh, fell through the ground or something, as they tend to do. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now, let's get that speed boost. Speaking of which, did I have? Yes, I did have the next level of toughness, so that pretty much puts me at the same level as where my strength is. Well, levels. We got accuracy, dex, accuracy, dexterous styles, speed. All at the same points as brutal styles, physique, and toughness. So, I should be good. What does that put my speed at again? 1.3. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Alright. We shall call that good. And there is the sun totem that we are supposed to get. Use the sun totem. Sure. Sure. That's kind of what I came in here for, isn't it? I think. One moment. Yeesh. <laughs> I had to get a real bad cough out. All right. And there's a dig spot for Doggo and for me. What do we got? Huh? Money bag. That's actually a pretty decent amount. And look at the place. Now it's all fucking sun and deserty. A little bit. Jesus, what did I do? <laughs> I that's where I went in through. So I guess Oh jeez. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Oh boy. That's the thing. Okay. Gonna be doing this, I guess. All right, and I think that's it. Now they're dead. Weird that they're finally coming out of the uh, ground now. Now that you know the ice is all gone and everything. Huh. Well, there's a treasure chest over there, and that I can now get. Wow, look at that. There's a heat shimmer everywhere. 
that's a nice little detail I've never noticed before. And Palverine Strength Potion. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Alright. Yeah, I've never I never noticed that little uh, heat shimmer before over Well, I can't see it now, but you're over here. Yeah, there it is. Do you see all of that? That is a nice detail I never noticed before. Holy shit. And it'll play into what happens later. <laughs> I'm sure. I am sure of that. Alright. And... Let's get that. Whatever that is. Now that we can dig properly into the ground. And... Attenuated... Is that how you pronounce that? Attenuated? I, I'm assuming it is. Will potion. Fuck it. It's still something I need. So why not? I'll take it. Alright. Down we go. There we go. There should be a lot more treasure chests I can reach now. Now that uh, all this snow and ice has melted away. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to do. For most of this episode. <laughs> Oh, and look at this! This was covered in completely a layer of ice before. Now it's not. How about that? Oh, dig spot over here. Alright. Let's dig into it. See what we get. Yeah! And it is Precious Necklace. Alright. That's pretty decent. Don't have much people to give it to except the wife, but that, that's something. That is something I can give her. Hey, a treasure chest. I don't think I've never noticed this one before either. All right. Iron axe. Really? Oh, it has more augment slots than its mainland equivalent. Oh. This is one of the higher augment ones. Okay, that's fair. A very basic but sturdy weapon. It was traditionally the weapon of choice of the wild warriors of ancient Brightwood. It may be slow, but it can deliver a hefty bit of damage. <laughs> Maybe. That may be the case, but it is not worth picking up. You've received a heavy weapon. This is more powerful than a normal weapon, but also much slower. Have I really picked up so many slow... Rather, so many fast weapons that I've never seen... A slow weapon description before? Really? That's a little odd. That's a little odd, I'll admit. I could have sworn I've seen a couple of them by now. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, another one. Although it's a little out of order at this point. Yeah. Oh, well. Give me a moment. Volume 7 of 10. Over the course of the next few centuries, the tribe lived peacefully, though it never grew beyond its first small village. It had minimal contact with the outside world, usually in the form of shipwrecks and passing pirates, barbarian hordes, and the odd tourist crews. <laughs> okay. It had little interest in the outside world, but, more worryingly, it was starting to lose its fighting traditions. Every year it became harder and harder to recover the totems from the shrines. Yep, and that's what we came in on. Them needing me to do that shit. Okay, why is he... Why are you growling, doggo? see anything that requires being growling at. It's not yet. No, I don't see anything. Sorry for that cut. I had to... Ugh. I had to deal with something real quick. My body is slowly trying to kill me, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> Let me tell you. I think I just, uh... Just had a minor stroke or something. Dig spot. Or at least it feels like it. There's a minor headache now after that coughing fit. All right. There we go. Get that. And what do we have? Bad XP potion. Well, I mean, it's something. Better than fuck all. Although, barely added anything. Holy shit. Can I not get up there? Really? It's kind of dumb. It's kind of really dumb, actually. It's like, that is an easily traversable little cliffside there, or easily... Yeah. Maybe not traversable, but 
You can get up on that, sure. Yeah, well. I'll get those treasure chests later, I guess. Maybe when they need my help again. And I alter the weather yet again in some weird, strange way. Maybe then I can do it. What the hell is this? Oh, that's a, that's a shell. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Oh, hey, there's volume six. Alright. The tribe had been living in the happiest circumstances over 12... That's over 12 months. Isn't that a year? That's a weird way to say that. Changing the weather to suit their needs and never wanting for anything. They grew soft and lazy, and the town elders realized they could not survive without the sort of challenges that would sharpen their senses and toughen their young. Sure, why not? They saw the wisdom of the ancient people who had created the totems and decided to return them to the shrines so that once a year they would have to face the proper tests and earn their power over the weather. Well, I mean, apparently uh, you didn't do too well on that, did you? Um, I'm not up there, so not really right now. Okay, heavy U crossbow. This one, yep, also has more augment slots. Slow and awkward, this crossbow still packs a mean punch if you can control it. It's nice to see you. Oh, hi there. It's nice to see you too, I guess. Even though I don't really know who you are. All right. I don't even remember there being guards around here the first time around. So, uh, I guess with the weather changing, they were able to get guards? Huh? I don't know. Also, why can't they make their guards do the fucking trials? A little lazy, don't you think? A little lazy in that regard. Scoundrel? Did you just call me a scoundrel? Okay, that's a little odd. Whatever. All right. I'm waiting for you, doggo. Show me where the dig spot is. Come on. There we go. That's what I needed. Yeah. And what do we got? Magnificent tuna. Wow, that's the highest ranking one you can get. Caught exclusively by wizened old men, this dish tastes of epic struggle. Delicious, delicious struggle. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well then, I'll keep that in the pocket there. Oh, gee. He was okay. Come on. Oh, it's so easy to like you. Oh, is it? It's so easy to Hold like me. On, eh? my friend. All right. I did it. I had full confidence I'd chosen an adequate champion for this historic event. I'm sorry, I did it. I you brought just sunshine brought me here. back to my people, and you played your part too, of course. Uh -huh. Feel free to enjoy the weather and spend your gold. Uh huh. You have brought sunshine into the lives of the people of Nothole Island. The potion shop has been able to restock, and new items have become available in the Box of Secrets. Well, okay. I'm not entirely liking that he's taking majority credit for that. It's a little... It's a little irking to me. I'll be honest. Ooh, did I? I did not. Because I wasn't able to, but now I can. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Alrighty. Well, didn't mean to push you around like that, but it's able to be done. I might as well do it. More than happy to help, good friend. Well, that's good. Thank you for being able to help. I'm just looking through their stuff. Um make up the poet. That's the beard I currently got. I don't think I'm gonna change unless they have something even better, which they don't look like they do. Honestly. Holiday weight potion. Blonde hair dye. What? Have more fun. Empty your head of all intelligent thought and indulge in many more blondish pre preconceptions by soaking your lustrous locks in this luminous dye. It can also be used on clothes, even non hairy ones. Alright. Um. Wow. <laughs> That's a thing. Not whole dark green dye. The famous dye maker Risky McFadden was inspired to create this hue while suffering from a particularly nasty cold. Ew. Ew. 
That's gross. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of different stuff here. Chubby potion. Nobody likes seeing pure muscle. Adorn it with some magical flab. <laughs> okay. Adds 40%. Wow. And it also takes away from your purity, I've noticed. A lot of... A lot of these sort of things take away from your purity if you drink them. Well, I mean, makes sense. It has to take a uh, toll somewhere, but it's a little odd. This incredible concoction can turn the burliest bull into, in the barn into the brightest bell of the ball, for a short while at least. The effects will wear off the next time you sleep and will not accumulate no matter how many potions you take. Deep skin beauty treatment, huh? Huh. Alrighty, fair enough. Mild exercise potion. <laughs> you may not look overweight, but you feel it. <laughs> you feel it, it, don't you? That's weird. That's a typo. It's gotta be. A few drops of this potion and those extra pounds will disappear. Well, i take it, sure. <laughs> wow. Oh, you can make yourself taller. Oh my god. Increase your height with one of these dizzying potions. Does not cause dizziness. Okay, well, glad you mentioned that. For those who don't wish to tower over their peers or simply wish to see the world from a child's point of view. Wow. I forgot that they had that. I kind of want it. <laughs> Shut up. Hope you enjoy Shut up. Thank you for your I'm freedom. buying them because I want to. <laughs> I'm not going to use them yet, but I'm going to use them at some point. Damn it. Alright. Ooh! I can buy this property, too. Might as well. Uh, yeah. Buy and rent out. Thank you. Thank you very much. My voice cracked there for some reason. Might be connected to the fact that I've been having coughing fits. Ugh. Still slowly dying from that. What doggo growling at? What are you growling at, doggo? Everything's fine. Ish. Currently. A dig spot? Where? Where's a dig spot? Oh, down here, I guess. Okay. Oh, come on. Let me vault, damn it. There we go. Where? Where, doggo? Right there? Okay. Let's do it. Alrighty. What do we got? Ugh. That was a thing. Alright. Sleepy Bean Java Potion. Yay! Alright. Let's go over here. Get back up there and see what's in the potion shop, I think? They said? That there was... Oh yeah, that was the one I was just in. Okay, that makes sense. Now I think about it. Potion shop is also the cosmetician. Most of the items in the shop were invented by people on the island. Or found on the shores. There's not much else to do around here. That's fair, I guess. Let's see what else you got. Well, I mean, these were the items that were there previously. So, let's see what else you got. Barbaric Garments. Murgo's Big Book of Trading. Huh, well, I keep that in mind. An evil weapon. I need three crunchy chicks to be able to get an evil weapon. That I'll have to keep in mind. Vile attire. Crucible peanuts. Oh. Alright, that's fair. I guess I'll eventually get those. Puny carrots. Oh! Rebellious costume. I already have a pretty necklace. Let's get it! Black wheel gang outfit. Is that a leather jacket? Oh my god. That is a leather jacket. I love it. <laughs> the Black Wheel Gang were feared for their powers of necromancy, though in truth this was just a myth created by an older generation who did not care for their leather-intensive fashion and catchy, rebellious songs. Yeah, that sounds, uh... <laughs> that sounds like greasers, all right. I hey! think that's the outfit worn by members of the Black Wheel Gang. Oh, yeah? They were a roaming group of necromantic warriors who sang a cappella lullabies during battle. A cappella lullabies. <laughs> oh, my God. I think that came with the whole... Yeah, it did. It came with the 
fucking coat. It adds to attractiveness, too. <laughs> oh my god. I need to... Oh my god, that's great. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna stick with the noble gents coat, but holy shit. That is a look. That is a look and a half. Let's look at the trousers. Okay. Okay, I could, I could live with this. I could live with that. And, let me guess, the boots too. <laughs> oh my god. Got attractiveness on them too, so that's that. Well, that'll work. That'll work, sure. And what about the pants? I didn't check them before I put them on. Five percent. Oh, that's that's still decent. That's still decent. Let's see if I can color them. Huh? <laughs> uh, let's 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 wear this for a little bit, huh? All right, let's go to lower body. Oh, it's only primary dye. Well, I can darken it. Darken it from the color it was previously. That's that's okay. And I can darken the primary color, the secondary color. Secondary color. Let's go with the green that I usually go with. This gable's green. Feet. And Yes. Is that is that supposed to be fire? Is that a pearlescent on there? To be fire and me changing it to green okay that's goofy that's goofy i love it <laughs> okay oh no you don't like me now you think i look evil oh no oh wow shut up right okay Anyway, so let's see if we can get stuff from her now. Stone cutter. We're closed for the moment. You can imagine why that is. Why? All my stuff is melted in the heat. Oh. Oh. That's not good. If your stock is melted in the heat, that's really not useful for you. That kind of fucks you over. So I mean. I'm pretty sure he'll have me come again to fix the heat problem. If it's apparently melting, I mean, her stock, it'll probably become unbearable in a while anyway. Heesh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, well, we completed this oh. mission. Ooh, treasure. That's right. I forgot. This was frozen. Can I open the thing? There we go. Jeez. I was pressing the button and it didn't want to let me do it. And what do we got? Blonde hair dye. Well, I eventually got it, I guess. Alrighty. Cool beans. Alright, now that we're done with this, I guess we could head home now. If we really wanted to. Let me check the rest of the quests. Ah. Uh, gargoyles. Sculptor. Till death do us part. That's really all we have. So we could just check in on the family. Yeah, let's just check in on the family. Before we go on to the main mission. Because we're eventually going to have to do that. <sighs> but we are a little bit over time. So we might save the uh, visiting the family for the next episode. Huh? I think that's probably going to be a good idea. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and getting the Sun Totem and helping that whole island. But apparently not completely. And uh, going to visit the family. While also having a coughing fit while I'm trying to record for you.